Hey guys, Jonathan was out here for JM Sports and I'm JMSports.org. How is that going? I am here to make picks for July 5th, 2011. Not going to waste much time. I'm going to get to them the last couple days. I haven't had records updated, and it's probably a good thing. Not that you guys want to know anyway, because I really haven't been all that pretty. On July 3rd, we took our lumps from 4 and 11. Yesterday, we took a little bit of lumping. Um, Went 7-8, 655 wins, 565 losses. The overall record, so 90 games above 500. Just want to say one quick thing. Uh, how about Albert Pujols? Pro probably, possibly coming back today. If you remember, he was injured on, I believe it was June 19th. He was supposed to be up four to six weeks. It's July 5th, and he's coming back already. So, Cardinal fans, rejoicing a bit. Burr fans, not so much. Alrighty, let's get to the action for today, and we'll kick things off with Cincinnati and St. Louis, Edinson Volquez and Jaime Garcia. You can see that game on ESPN at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to go with Garcia and the Cardinals. Uh, CC Sabathia goes to the New York Yankees up against Carlos Carrasco of the Cleveland Indians, and I'm going to go with uh, CC and the Yankees after the Indians. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a surprise beat the Yankees yesterday, but they did beat the Yankees, and I was a little bit surprised personally. Chicago and Washington. Ramon Ortiz goes up against uh, Ross Detweiler. Now, according to ESPN.com, Detweiler does not have any stats. He has not been in the majors yet this year. Uh, Ortiz has been in the majors um, for a very long time. In fact, it says that Detweiler doesn't have really been in the majors at all. Um, at least, which wasn't true, because he does have a record, a 2-9 and nine record, and like a 4.7 ERA. Um, I'm going to go with Ramon Ortiz, though, in the Cubs. Houston and Pittsburgh, Juan D. Rodriguez and Jeff Karstens. I'm going to go with Karstens and the Pirates. Toronto and Boston, Brett Cecil and John Lester. I'm going to go with uh, Lester and the Red Sox, who need a win pretty bad. they are um, been playing a little rough um, lately. Colorado and Atlanta, Julio Chas and Derek Law. I'm going to go with Lowell and the Braves. Baltimore and Texas. Um, Matt Atkins goes up against, or I'm sorry, Mitch Atkins goes up against um, James uh, Matt Harrison. There we go. That's where I got the map from. Mitch Atkins goes up against um, Matt Harrison. And I am going to go with... Uh, I'm actually going to go with Baltimore. Kansas City and the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Felipe Paulino and Jake Peavy. I'm going to go with Peavy and the White Sox. Arizona and Milwaukee. Milwaukee needing a win horribly. Um, it hasn't been pretty... As of late, Sean Markham hit a grand slam yesterday. It had been since 1977 since the pitcher of a team hit a grand slam and that pitcher lost the game. Or, and that uh, team rather really lost the game. I guess the pitcher did too. But, uh, Tampa Bay and Minnesota. James Shields and Scott Baker. I'm going to go with Shields and the Rays. Detroit and the LA Angels. Justin Verlander, Dan Heron. Really good pitching matchup here. I'm going to go with Verlander and the Tigers. Seattle and Oakland. King Felix, Felix Hernandez, and Trevor Cahill. I'm going to go with uh, King Felix and the Mariners. New York Mets, LA Dodgers, Mike Pelfrey, Ted Lilly. I'm going to go with Lilly and the Dodgers. San Diego and San Francisco. Round out the schedule today. Matt Stauffer and Matty Kane. And I am going to go with Matt Kane and the San Francisco Giants. Alrighty, that is going to do it for me. I'm John Lovell's up for JM Sports 100 and jmsports.org. Don't forget, I do sub for sub, so please subscribe. We're going to mention in the next video. You're going to link in the description. And, of course, you're going to sub for me and all the other benefits that go with it, too, including say, getting to say that you know the real me. I am John Lovell's up for JM Sports 100 and jmsports.org. I am out. Peace.